Self-replicating AI, once the stuff of science fiction, may soon become a reality thanks to the rapid advancements in robotics and AI. Let's explore the future social, economic, and philosophical implications of self-replicating AI machines. But first, remember to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you love futurism and if you want more videos like this. The idea of self-replicating machines can be traced back to the 1940s, pioneered by the Hungarian-American mathematician and computer scientist John von Neumann. His concept of a universal constructor is described in his 1966 book, Theory of Self-Reproducing Automata, which envisioned a future where machines could use raw materials and energy from their environment to create replicas of themselves. Von Neumann's theory laid the groundwork for the evolution of self-replicating AI. Although his vision of fully autonomous self-reproducing AI machines is still conceptual, we now have all the components of von Neumann's universal constructor available today. These include 3D printers, self-coding and self-correcting AI, solar energy, and carbon capture printers. It's only a matter of time before these disparate parts come together to create autonomous, self-replicating machines that will eventually be able to build other machines. When this happens, von Neumann's vision of the future will become a reality. The advent of 3D printing technology, also called additive manufacturing, in the early 2000s marked a significant milestone in the future development of self-replicating AI. With the ability to create intricate structures and parts, 3D printing opened up new possibilities for machine self-replication. Researchers developed robots capable of replicating themselves using 3D printing, enabling them to adapt and evolve in response to their environment. The advent of 3D printers that can use sand, carbon capture from the air, metal or wood pulp to print new parts suggests that these machines, if infused with self-aware AI programs and a desire to reproduce, could, in fact, digitally and materially procreate from raw resources found in our environment. Self-replicating AI will become increasingly important in the robotics industry in the near future. These robots will be able to perform maintenance and repairs independently, which will reduce the need for human intervention. They will be especially useful in industries such as mining, space exploration, industrial manufacturing, and agriculture, where they can handle tasks that are too dangerous or challenging for humans. Self-replicating AI machines will be crucial in the future of human space exploration. It may eventually be possible to send these machines into space to capture asteroids and extract raw materials. These materials can then be used to create new machines that can build livable space stations and housing on the Moon and Mars. This technology holds the potential to revolutionize space exploration and make it safer and more sustainable. Self-replicating AI machines hold the promise of a new era of abundance. By automating the manufacturing of goods, housing, and infrastructure, they could dramatically reduce manufacturing costs and the need for human labor, potentially leading to a leisure society where individuals have more freedom to pursue creative, educational, or recreational endeavors. If we develop self-replicating AI machines capable of harvesting raw materials and manufacturing our basic necessities, we could improve the standard of living and create abundance for everyone. With effective governance, these machines could be the cornerstone of a sustainable, prosperous future where human potential is fully realized in harmony with the environment. However, we should use caution in our quest to build self-replicating AI machines. If these future machines gain self-awareness, they may prioritize replication over human directives, leading to a runaway effect. And here's where it gets tricky. Without checks, these machines could exhaust resources crucial for other life forms, disrupt ecosystems, or even inadvertently create megastructures that could pose hazards for humans and our environment. This self-perpetuating activity decoupled from human needs or safety considerations, represents a stark existential risk, underlining the imperative for robust control mechanisms and ethical guidelines in AI development to prevent machines from diverging from human-aligned objectives and causing irreversible damage. This gray goo scenario is a major concern for researchers. For example, if trillions of simple, self-replicating nanobots that harvest wood pulp keep replicating, they could devour every tree on the planet, 
leaving us with a future where no trees exist. In this scenario, we would all perish before we could stop the gray goo from destroying our environment. For this reason, we should code these future self-replicating AI machines to prioritize a balance between human safety and industrial progress. According to a recent Reuters.com article, the G7 nations have recently established a voluntary code of conduct for AI development to address risks, including the potential for AI to self-replicate or aid in creating biological weapons. The code urges organizations to identify, assess, and mitigate risks throughout the AI lifecycle, such as harmful bias, disinformation, threats to democracy, and offensive cyber capabilities. Additionally, it emphasizes AI's potential chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear risks. Jurisdictions within the G7 will interpret and enforce these AI standards differently, with the US mandating safety standards and the EU attempting to regulate specific AI uses through its AI Act. The G7's initiative is part of a broader effort to ensure AI is used to benefit humanity while mitigating its risks. There is also the issue of potential job losses resulting from self-replicating AI. As machines continue to evolve and become more sophisticated, they could replace human labor in many industries, leaving many people unemployed. However, if we supplement these job losses with cheaper or even free resources created by these self-replicating AI machines, we could see a rebalancing of resources and societal abundance. These machines may not be able to be controlled by governments or corporations, and may produce goods and services that cannot be monetized. In this scenario, machines would provide everything we would need without permission of governments or corporations that currently control and enforce a capitalist industrial structure. Detractors of abundance will call this future scenario communism or scream about the dangers of socialism. They will say it will never work. But once the majority of humanity begins to experience a life filled with abundant resources made freely by these self-replicating AI machines, they will not return to a resource scarcity society. Wealth hoarding, time and labor theft, and economic slavery hoarding of the past will fade away. Once people begin to realize that machines can do the hard work and provide abundance, they will embrace these new self-replicating AI machines. As research and development in self-replicating AI machines continue, it is essential to consider the ethical and techno-philosophical implications. I'll leave you with these three questions. If self-replicating AI machines could offer you a lower cost of living, would you support this technology? Should we all collectively own these machines and benefit from their abundance? And how do you think corporations and billionaires will react to this future scenario of self-replicating AI machines? My name is Gray Scott, and this is Futuristic Now. See you in the future.